Hi, my name is Ryan Bowers. I'm a race engineer on the number 11 FedEx Toyota Camry, and this is about last weekend. So headed into Daytona, our strategy was to score as many points as we could because we were racing the five car for the regular season points standings. Headed into it, we uh, had a really good qualifying position uh, P3 and fortunately for us and unfortunately for the five car they got a pre-race penalty which sent them to the back. Uh, there's a comp caution at lap 20 this week and we ended up taking no tires uh, during that comp caution to just try and optimize how many points we could get in the first stage and it ended up working out really good for us. Um, came off pit road pretty well and, and raced our way up to second place in stage one and scored you know, nine points on the five car who wasn't able to make it back up to uh, the top 10 by the end of stage one. So at the end of stage one, we decided to take tires, kind of reset our game plan, and um, started a little bit deep in stage two. And we weren't able to quite get up um, to compete for, for points in this stage. But halfway through, there was a caution. We actually got a little bit of damage to our nose. And since we hadn't made it very far up into the, into the field and didn't have very good track position. We decided to come in, pit, make sure it, you know, everything was all right with the nose, um, put tires on here, and that set us up to be a little bit more aggressive later on in the race. Um, but unfortunately, in stage two, we didn't score any points. So we took fuel only at the stage two break, and um, that you know, allowed us to jump a few guys who were taken tires after stage two and put us in a pretty good spot to race in stage three. In stage three, um, you know, this is where that strategy kind of came into play a little bit where the Fords pitted pretty early on in the run as soon as the fuel window opened. And Daytona is one of the unique tracks where you don't actually go a lap down when you pit under green. And so um, it's a bit of an advantage to come in as early as you can because if you catch a caution, then you won't have to pit. You're pretty much done. And everyone who stays out, they have to come in, take fuel um, to make it to the end of the race. So the Ford guys all came in um, pretty early after the window opened. And we decided to stay out to try and run them down under green um, because our pack was a little bit bigger. We had all the Chevrolets with us and uh, we ended up getting caught by a caution. So we had to come in, take fuel there. Um, you know, our car was still kind of not quite as good from the damage we got, uh, we got earlier in the race. And, um, but we were still able to, to team up with a couple cars, bump draft really well. And by the end of the race, we had a pretty good shot at you know, getting to the lead, being up racing around P1, P2, and we ended up getting wrecked. Um, and from that point on, it was really just damage control. You know, we were trying to make sure we didn't damage the car further by getting flat tires or drop some debris out there. Um, and it put us running behind the pack on that really big last wreck, which we ended up being able to miss. And um, we ended up finishing 14th um, or 13th uh, with, the pen with post race penalties. Um, but, you know, it wasn't quite enough to keep up with the five car pass them for the regular season point standings.